In this video today, I'll quickly show you how to deploy an AirDrop ERC721 smart contract where users are able to transfer their ERC721 NFTs to a list of recipients without having them individually claim the NFTs. To deploy the AirDrop contract, we need a pre-existing NFT collection. And if you don't already have one, or if you don't know how to create one, we actually have a YouTube tutorial to guide you through step-by-step -step how to deploy your own NFT collection. Go ahead and feel free to click on the link below to watch how to create and claim your own NFT drop on the desired network that you want. Now to deploy the AirDrop ERC721 contract, we want to first head to the third web dashboard and find the AirDrop section. Here, let's click on AirDrop ERC721 and click deploy. Once you're ready, you can click on deploy now to begin the deployment flow. You need to first connect your wallet of your choice. And for me personally, I like MetaMask the best because I like their user interface. So I'll just be connecting to MetaMask. After you connect your wallet, this will pop up a drawer that asks for the contract parameters and the network that you want to deploy your contract on. For default admin, this will generally be yourself or anyone who owns the NFT collection. So go ahead and enter your own address or the wallet address that owns the NFT collection. For the network, this will be the same network that your NFT collection contract is deployed to. For example, for my collection, I deployed it on GoEarly, so I'll just be selecting GoEarly as the network that I'll be deploying this airdrop to. Once you're ready, click on Deploy Now to approve the transaction and deploy your smart contract. After successful deployment, you will be taken to the generated dashboard for your airdrop contract, and we'll be filling out some more details to execute the airdrop. Before we're able to airdrop the NFTs to the users, we actually need to set the approval to transfer those NFTs from your NFT collection. So we need to run the set approval for all function on our NFT collection smart contract with the operator set to the airdrop smart contract address. And to do that, we can pull up our NFT collection and I have a sample one here and we can go to the Explorer tab and underneath on the left hand side, we'll see set approval for all and go ahead and click on that. And within operator, we can paste in the airdrop address that we just deployed earlier on the dashboard and we'll be setting approved to true and after we can just execute this transaction and now we can head back to the airdrop contract and go to the explore tab and set some parameters for our airdrop the first one being token address which is the nft collections address from which the nfts are being transferred from and the second one is the token owner, which is the wallet address that contains the NFTs to be transferred. And this generally will be yourself or whoever owns the NFT collection. And the next contains the list of recipients of the airdrop. And this is generally denoted by square brackets with the wallet addresses sitting in quotation marks separated by a comma. And lastly, these will be the token IDs of the NFTs that you want to airdrop to your recipients. And you can find these token IDs of the NFTs that you have uploaded to your NFT collection under the NFT tab on the third web dashboard. And you want to make sure the token IDs are being matched to the recipients in the order that they're entered. So for example, if I want to transfer the NFT with the token ID zero to the first recipient, I need to make sure it's entered first. And the token IDs also need to be wrapped in square brackets separated by commas. And if you want to create an airdrop for ERC 1155 smart contract to facilitate batch transfers to optimize for gas, you can also use the third web dashboard to airdrop an ERC-1155 contract. And the process will be very similar to deploying an airdrop ERC-721 contract with the parameters being a little different and that you have to have an ERC-1155 edition contract ready to be used. Again, let's head over to the dashboard and find 
airdrop erc1155 once again let's enter the wallet address that we want to be the owner of the contract and select the same network that the erc1155 nft collection smart contract is deployed to and this will be go early in my case so let's click on deploy now to deploy the contract we will first need to approve the tokens for the airdrop so we'll have to approve the airdrop contract address in the addition contract using the set approval for all function and from our erc 1155 nft collection contract we need to run the set approval for all function with the address of the airdrop smart contract and once we're ready we can execute this transaction and let's head back over to our erc 1155 airdrop contract and click on the explorer tab to set the parameters first the token address will be the contract address of your ERC-1155 NFT collection. And the token owner will be the wallet address that contains the NFTs to be transferred. So this will generally be yourself. And the recipients contains the list of the recipients of the airdrop. And they will be wrapped in square brackets inside quotation marks. Inside amounts, this is the corresponding list for the amount of tokens to airdrop per recipient in the recipient list. For the token IDs, you can generally find them under the NFT tab of your ERC-1155 NFT collection. So for example here, we are airdropping this wallet address one quantity of the NFT with the token ID 0. And once you're ready, go ahead and execute the function and approve the transaction. And once that's done, your airdrop will be completed. So in this video today, we learned how to airdrop ERC-721 and ERC-1155 tokens to different wallet addresses using ThirdWeb's dashboard. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our third web channel. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment down below or join our Discord community and speak with our third web team directly. Thank you for watching.